Hey, what's going on, everybody? Steve at the Graphite Lab coming at you with a short one today, hopefully. Um, we are going to chat a little bit about leads in the follow-ups tab. This has been around, I mean, a couple of years at this point, probably four years or so. Um, but still, I'd say maybe 50% of the time, whenever I pull up an account, I am not seeing this actively on. That warrants like th this. This is a must-have thing. Everybody should have this thing going. So, we will talk today about how you get this extra little option in follow-ups tabs, and we will discuss uh, how you use it, what kind of setup stuff you need, what your CSRs need to be aware of, and uh, and yeah, from there we'll be off to the races. So, first and foremost, as with anything, if you do not see it on here, it's, odds are there's a configuration that needs to go on, right? From uh, four follow-ups tabs, though, just out of the base, you should have these guys. If you do a lot of commercial work, you should also be seeing service agreements. This is a whole other video for a whole other day. Frankly, maybe a set of videos. It's uh, it's very deep, but if, if you're doing mostly commercial work, it, it will blow you away by comparison to what the membership module does today. Um, anywho, what we're here for is these leads. Um, I guess before we jump in and... Uh, and configure this whole thing and get it rocking. Just a very brief overview of what this is for. Anytime, whenever somebody, whether you make an outbound call, whether a call comes in, if you are not able to book that business, but the reason you weren't able is not because they're out of a service area, um, it's, it, you know, let's say um, landlord, right? Hey, Sorry, I called you guys. I, I have to get uh, approval from my landlord. Odds are they're going to be coming back, right, if you remember to follow up with them. Today, best way of doing that without this leads tab is what? You know, you, oh, put on a sticky note, maybe uh, just run a little list, you know, put a tag on a customer maybe if, uh, if you've gone that far. This takes care of all of that for you. Gives you one place to look whenever it's like, all right, We've got an hour of breathing room here. Let's call back all this business that we could have had this morning that we did not convert. All right. So with all that being said, let's navigate over here. And if you don't have this, I, well, any system administrator should have this, but you'll want to go into your settings and go to feature configurations. It'll be under the, your account menu. If you've not done it already, spend a day here. It's uh, this is kind of the greatest hits of the um, the configuration options that Service Titan has behind the scenes. I mean, there are thousands of these uh, be behind the curtain. A lot of which, though, will just break if you just turn them on willy-nilly. Go ahead, let's, oh, let's flip the switch for this. It'll crash two or three other things, right? This is a list of, call it maybe 150, 181 now. Um, that are safe to use that if you turn this on worst case scenario it'll say hey you have to request it and we'll approve it first just to make sure but largely this is the stuff where i could turn it on turn it off it's not going to break anything it's just me uh getting the ability to use all that's to say what we're here for is leads right so i just go here search for leads and this is her right here create leads from unbooked calls and bookings so I've already got this on. If you don't, go ahead, flip that to uh, to enable, and that will then give you this little leads box down here. Now we're not done yet. There's um there's one other place in your settings that historically maybe it wasn't um, imperative that this be handled a certain way, right? This just became more important. It's call reasons. Um, so if we can spell today, right? We go in here. Our call reasons, now it's really this, is this a lead, yay or nay? That's what we're after, but call reasons here, any reason that we would not book business, right? That's all this is. So I strongly recommend audit this list. Make sure that it captures every reason that you could hang up the phone without booking a job, right? On that note as well, do make sure like customer called to cancel. Is that a lead? False. This is now very important because if a uh, if you don't book something because someone's outside the service area, you're not really going to get prompted to create a uh, a follow up for this. However, didn't want to pay a dispatch fee if they've been calling around all over town and still have you know would have to pay the uh, the dispatch fee based on your uh, your competitors having the same you know 
Or, frankly, you just call them back and say, hey, um, I know two hours ago this wasn't okay. How about now? It's awfully hot out there, isn't it? Right? So you do have uh, some of these. We have true. It's a lead. If I don't book something and that's why, it will prompt me to create a lead for my follow-up. All that's to say, we're going to navigate over now to call taking. You'll notice this is probably an awful lot different than, uh, than what you see when you go to book a call. By all means, we have a whole other video on this on how you can create call scripts, like formally run your CSRs through word for word what you want them to say. I'm just, uh, just going to breeze through this thing, though, just to get us where we need to be. Next. Anyway, that close and classify, right? Right here, whether you're dealing with a call script, whether you're dealing with um, the, uh, the basic call booking, phones pro, non-phones pro, you should always have close and classify available to you. Hit that. Now, what happened here, right? And this is where these call reasons come back into play. So if I say, um, didn't want to pay that dispatch fee, where did they hear about us? Of course, with a, uh, if someone really is calling, this of course is automated by and large, but just for me, let's call it existing customer. Now, log a follow-up when, right? And I'll say, oh, let's do it this day. Now, first name, last name, street number, this similarly, if you have a location that drops down, all of this will be pre-filled for you, right? Like even, uh, even if I go through here, right? And I'm just gonna wrap it through, sure, whatever. Okay, so if I go here, and now I take it out, right? Close and classify, let's say, didn't wanna pay dispatch fee, whatever, direct mail log a follow-up, I don't need to worry about that, right? Because it's already taken care of, all the info's there. Anyway, just uh, try and give you as close to the experience you'll run into. Now, customer is up to their knees in water, but won't pay a dispatch fee. Let's try back when they've exhausted their options, right? So, at this point, I can copy this to the location notes if it's, if it's important enough to do so. I'm just going to say, all right, call it a day. At this point, let's say that, uh, you know, lunchtime comes around, everything's pretty beat. I then can hop on over to my follow-ups tab, and we'll see here. Here's one that's created, John Richards, one follow-up to go. If I click here, I'm now met with a uh, couple different options. I can either give a buzz. I, if, if this is not going to happen, just dismiss the lead, right? And I've, I've got a couple here just for the ability to do so. We'll just take this guy out and say, what was the, uh, the last reason, right? That we, uh, we didn't have now. I've had a, uh, a couple of these on this tester, but we'll go price shopping, right? But we're just going to dismiss it. We can bring it back from the dead if we'd like, if that was by accident, but on here, right? I can adjust and edit anything uh, anything that I wrote in the last one. I can also go in here, see anything that's been done to it from the past. Log my notes on this follow-up as well. Got in touch, no dice, right? Nothing crazy, but now I've got an idea of what happened here. I want to restore it again, go ahead, but we're out. Let's say instead though, right? I either touch base and John tells me, Hey, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna have to uh, revisit this two weeks from now. Set this thing up, and just say when do I want to follow back up? We'll say the twenty seventh, right? Or you can just pick between these, obviously. Or last but not least, I can go ahead and just convert this. Now I can take the um, any of the notes that we've had thus far, if I wanted to. Last call. You want to, you know, keep a paper trail? I don't care for it, so. It'll just take me right where I stopped with this lead. If you're on a, uh, a call booking screen that does not include call scripts, this will just drop you right back, pre-fill all the stuff that was pre-filled, and it's like, uh, it's as if they had never told you no the first time. Um, that's about it though. It's free to use for absolutely everybody. It's available to absolutely everybody. And the setup is honestly pretty minimal. You know, you just, uh, as long as your call reasons are set properly, as long as you've got this thing configured, which one more time, we'll go back there just so you can uh, see the exact 
name of this guy here, but create leads from unbook calls and bookings. That's the one you're after. You just tell your CSRs, hey, there's this one little thing that we're adding into the mix, and you suddenly have a much, much easier and much more automatic way to keep up with this business. Again, it's not something that everyone's going to need. Half of y'all watching this are probably doing this actively today. But if you're not, very easy, low-lift way to make hay out of uh, you know the, the dead hours, much as they happen. Uh, I'm making this in May, so not a lot of dead hours down in Atlanta in May. But you know, if you run into them, this is, uh, this is here for you. Again, there's, uh, there's some extra stuff on this follow-ups tab. There's one that I don't have featured because I don't have Phones Pro on my demo system. Second chance leads, very, very similar to leads, but it essentially will take AI measure, hey, let's analyze how this call went. Let's take a look at the transcript. Could this have been a lead? Doesn't require any intervention from anybody to set it as such. This one, though, is, think of this as the manual version of that uh, second chance leads. Um, again, if you have Phones Pro, you should be very familiar. That'll be on here for you as well. The service agreements, honestly, if this video hadn't already been 10 minutes plus, I would have jumped into these as well. It is, uh, it's very, very intense. Again, different, uh, different video, maybe different set of videos for a different day. Um, but yeah, that is follow-up leads. Um, we'll have more of the, uh, the rundown on the follow-ups tab just generally on here um, coming up for you. But, uh, but yeah, please, please reach out to us if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or would like a hand uh, getting this thing oiled up for your shop. Hope all's well, and I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you soon.